Certs. 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 Surfs. Shirts. What are certs? Why are they so important? And who keeps taking my cheese and pickle sandwich out of the refrigerator? These are the common questions one might be faced with before embarking on their professional IT journey. And when you go down that rabbit hole, there's no turning back. I'm Thad Pearson, and I'm still on the run from the government since my last BVI video, and today, today, we're going to begin our comprehensive and almost free guide into the world of IT certifications. CompTIA IT Fundamentals This is an introductory certification. The site states that this will help you decide if a career in IT is right for you at a cost of $126. No experience needed. This exam focuses on the essential IT skills and knowledge to perform tasks such as using the basic functions of an operating system, You'll learn how to perform simple, elevated end-user tasks, such as installing hardware and software, along with the day-to-day -day functions at home, like connecting to a network, safely browsing the internet, opening emails, and coming to the conclusion that there are no hot singles in your area. Everything that is rolled up in this bad boy is just a YouTube search away, or you can call your nephew because he's good at computers. F. CompTIA A+. This is an introductory cert as well, but unlike the previous one, I've actually seen employers use this as a requirement. You'll most likely need this cert for a level 1 or 2 help desk position for a company with a robust user base. Unlike the last cert, this one requires you to take two whole exams. This sounds ludicrous, but I remember taking this back in 2016, and the scope of these exams can be daunting. Especially when all you know how to do is plug in that 1080 GTI you just bought from Newegg at 200% above MSRP. This test goes off of what professional IT career folks should know when entering the field. This course will go over identifying the multiple display cables and ports and the various layers of the OSI model, TCP IP networking, Linux, Mac, and mobile OS. That's your phone, by the way. You'll even learn how to keep your grandma out of that folder on your desktop labeled homework. But everyone knows it's not homework. Except your grandma. Somehow, she doesn't see through your shame. And this exam is a whopping $232. Give it a B. CompTIA Network Plus. Net Plus offers you the knowledge to design and implement functional, more or less, networks. You'll really dig into network devices and their functions. You'll learn how to segment robust networks in a professional environment while troubleshooting various problems, such as telling the sysadmins that this, in fact, is not a DNS issue, when we already know that it is. You'll also touch up on some virtualization too, so that's cool. I see this as a requirement every now and then as well, but it's still somewhat rare. Maybe because I'm not a network guy, so that would probably explain it. Either way, I'd say go this route if you're looking into a career revolving around firewalls, switches, Cisco, or I don't know, non-sysadmin type stuff. Also, this one is $338. A. CompTIA Security Plus. Sec Plus is the bare minimum when it comes to government IT work, period. This thing is robust too. I mean, 
it's CompTIA, so it's full of things to study, but this one is... Woof. I could make a whole series alone on the study objectives for this test, but smarter people already have, so shout out to them and go look up Professor Messer and just click his first Sec Plus video. That's all you have to do. Sec Plus has you going into not only the technology of our modern networks, but how to secure them, all of them, from your DHCP using TCP to share your DVDs, from your mobile hotspot to the smart screen kitchen pot, you'll learn about encryption, decryption, bash, hash, NAS, and WAP. This one's a big one, folks, and CompTIA knows it. I'm gonna give it an A. CompTIA Cloud Plus. This is a certification that tests your knowledge on deploying and automating secure cloud environments. Everyone seems to be moving in this direction, so obviously there are some employers out there wanting anyone above Tier 2 to have this fella on their resume. You'll dive into the different cloud modules out there along with maintaining those mwah, delicious cloud servers, along with the vast OSs that will be implemented on them. CompTIA recommends that you already have NetPlus and SecPlus under your belt and then shovel out another $338 to take this test. In just three years, from the time this video has been uploaded, I've noticed almost every job posting having a blurb somewhere stating that cloud technologies such as AWS, Azure, etc. are a plus, but not always required. So if you're wanting to get your feet wet in the IT stratosphere, then I'd say start here. A B. CompTIA Linux Plus. An internationally recognized credential validating technical competencies required for junior-level Linux administrators. And that's what they say on CompTIA's website, and I've always thought that this was an odd one. It's the only OS-specified certification offered by CompTIA, and boy, isn't that just dandy. This exam is going to cover a few basic level wickets like configuring kernel modules, network parameters, storage, and... Wait, really? Cloud technologies also? Okay. You'll also delve into software and service management, especially everything you've learned before, but in the scope of Linux. The good thing about this exam is if you sit down and watch a bunch of tutorials and practice videos or set up a virtual box or even dual boot from your home computer until Linux, uh, this should be an easy one. Oh wait, it's CompTIA. That means that it's mostly multiple choice and not performance completely. Well, it's $338 and I give it a fat C. And CompTIA Server Plus. Do you know what it's like to be an empty bottle? Something that once served a purpose but has been tossed aside and then forgotten by society. To spend the next several decades just sitting, wondering when your existence will finally meet its abrupt end. And CompTIA Server Plus is worse than that. It focuses on multiple vendor products and their implementations and oh my gosh, just figure out what vendor you want to be good at and you'll get exposure to it. Half of the time when you see a job posting, they're going to tell you what vendor they rely on mostly and you're just going to have to get their specific cert. For $338 for something that's not even really good at anything, I'm going to have to give this one a D. CompTIA CYSA Plus. Like SEC Plus, this one can fill the void on your resume to meet DoD standards for certain IT related jobs. In fact, I've seen this one a few times. Also, cybersecurity is one of those hot button fields right now, just like the cloud. In fact, your career will eventually revolve around one or the other, or both. 
This exam is going to take the topics of Sec Plus even further by covering topics with threat and vulnerability management, supporting your network security posture by recognizing potential threats and where you might be lacking. Also cover software and system security, and all the ways to respond to certain incidents, like when do you call in digital forensics? What do you tell the media, if anything? All this and more wrapped up in a nice little cybersecurity bow. I actually wholeheartedly recommend this one if you intend to boost your career, but it's going to cost you $370. Oh, yes. Comtia Casp with a P plus. Uh, this one's a little similar to the CYSA plus exam, but you're going to take a slightly different approach to things like risk management. You'll analyze the risks that come with certain frameworks and the best practices to protect said networks. You'll touch up on research methods in collaboration with development, which I guess means you'll be more of a team player rather than a crab in a bucket. You'll also look through the scope of enterprises rather than a small office, home office network. This is a good boost, but it's $466, so just make sure your auto loan is covered for the month before paying for this one. The B. The CompTIA Pen Test Plus. You'll learn how to explain the importance of compliance based assessments when that angry user is screaming at you for taking additional cybersecurity training because they fell for that phony link that your team sent out as a test earlier. It was me. I clicked the phony link. February 2nd, 2021. Never forget. You'll learn how to exploit network vulnerabilities and the different types of tools. This will give you the knowledge to further understand how all those baddies out there do what they do. And further prepare your precious data from falling into the wrong hands. This one's a little bit cheaper than the aforementioned one. It's at $370. Yay! CompTIA Project Plus. How large is your ego? Do you writhe at night from that one embarrassing social incident from the 8th grade? Does your pented anxiety Fuel the demons that haunt you until the wee hours of the morning. Of course it does. Your tormented soul hungers. It hungers for the ability to mask these anxieties in a sheet of fleeting power. The power to take a small team and make a difference while you smile blankly into the abyss. And at the end of the day, you know that none of this matters on the cosmic calendar that we, as a race, are only a tiny, insignificant blip. Project Plus is for those folks who want to jumpstart their careers to the management level. You'll learn the invaluable knowledge on what it is to lead a small team of engineers and admins for small to medium-sized projects. You'll learn how to manage the project life cycle, communication with all those buzzing worker bees, management documentation, and scheduling slash phases slash cost. You'll be the guy at the bottom of a ladder of the other guys. And when I say guys, I mean gals too. Don't make it weird. This one's 6,754 pesos at the time of this recording. D. Comtia CTT Plus. Those who can't do teach. And that's why I'm teaching you about certs. And maybe you have the certs, but find yourself with a strong desire to break away from it all. Maybe you're tired of the doing but want to remain tethered to the web of the IT community? Maybe it's just you, a webcam, and a whiteboard. Maybe, just maybe, you can teach. CTT Plus is just 
the certified technical trainer. It's what you would expect. Don't think you're going to march onto some campus and teach the next generation of nerds how to fix computers. That requires a degree. And that's all. You really want me to go into detail about this one? It's going to teach you how to teach? I won't do it. I'm not. $338? F. Comtia Cloud Essential Plus. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's another one of these things. And it's for both IT and non-technical professionals? What the... Why? Why do we have a cert stating that it caters to non-technical people for technical certifications? Like, what are they, curious about the cloud and cloud assessment? And they want to understand security concerns? There's literally teams of people from providers that are paid to tell you about these things. No, 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 no. I can't keep this up anymore. Shame on you, Comtia. Shame on you. I'm not paying you $126 for something that Amanda from Microsoft's Azure team can explain to me in a 45 minute seminar. You know what? No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I quit. I can't do this anymore. No, nope. that's it. I'm done. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, Thad, what's up, buddy? How are you? Nothing much. Listen, I went ahead and I made a YouTube guide on these CompTIA certs, and I went ahead and uploaded. I already got the password from your notebook, and I set it up, and uh, it should be getting some views real soon. Wait, what? Wait, you got my password? Yeah, well, I, I had texted you twice while you were in that board meeting, and you never responded, so I just took the liberty of just grabbing your passwords real quick and setting everything up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. It's gonna I was be... in a meeting, Fad? Yeah, I know, and that's why I took the password, so we went ahead and oh, set, set it up. Can you... Is it public? Is the video public? Um... Oh, yeah. It's public. Yeah, it's public. Fad... In fact, we, we have we have checks and balances here. We need to make sure that it wasn't reviewed by anybody. Yeah, I, I checked yeah. and balanced it already. It's all good. Them right there and then we make them private and then we make sure everything checks out beforehand. Yeah. Fact, yeah. What like what? what? And you just did you just did this by yourself? I mean, uh, yes. Okay. All right. You, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna check it out. Please put it up private now. Please. Uh, uh, I don't. I, I gotta look up the YouTube video real quick on how to make YouTube videos private. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm letting you. Kid. All right. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, okay.